Life is full of changes. In general, people don't like change. Getting away from the routines we've established is often just hard. A change that churchgoers seem to face is when that visitor comes into your church and takes your seat. <laughs> Talking about it now seems ridiculous, but we cause small decisions like that and changes to affect us. In Galatians 5.13, it says we are called to be free, but not to indulge in the sinful nature. Sometimes we don't think before we act, and that lack of attention to detail can cause consequences, which bring about various changes. Think about your life. What events have occurred in your life that seem to change everything? Maybe it was getting married or the death of a loved one. Now maybe some of you, like me, are not morning people. We can easily find ourselves rushing to get ready and neglecting to have that time with God. But that 10 minute devotion time can totally redirect the path we could have taken that day had we not started it with God. Small decisions like that cause big changes. The first point I'd like to address is our choices can cause a change in someone else's life. For example, in Acts 3, 6, Peter tells a crippled beggar, silver or gold I do not have, but what I have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. What an incredible change Peter made in this man's life through the power of God by allowing him to walk. Another example is found in Acts chapter 16. Paul cast out a spirit inside a slave girl, which totally changed her situation. Even in the 21st century, we can affect people's lives. Maybe the joyful attitude you show amidst a struggle you're facing will catch someone's attention. Or perhaps your hello to the outcast will cause him to think twice about suicide. God is at work in ways we don't even know. My second point is, we must die to the sinful nature in order to live. We all have a sinful nature. In Romans 8, 12 through 13, it says, Therefore, brothers, we have an obligation, but it is not to the sinful nature to live according to it. For if you live according to the sinful nature, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the misdeeds of the body, you will live. The story of Adam and Eve clearly defines this truth. God tells Adam and Eve in Genesis 3 not to eat from the tree in the middle of the garden, or they will die. God's instructions were very clear. <coughs> Disobedience would result in death. Yet, despite what they've been told, Adam and Eve chose to eat from the forbidden fruit. Their decision affected them and the rest of humanity. No longer did they walk with God in the garden, but their sinful choice separated them from him, and they had to face a new reality of death. But what do you know what the biggest change was that ever occurred on this earth? This brings me to my third and final point. The ultimate choice caused the ultimate change. Christ made the decision that caused the ultimate change, which was his sacrifice on the cross. I challenge you to find some other event that caused a change for every single person on earth. But his sacrifice means nothing in your life. If you have not made the decision of making him your personal Lord and Savior, his arms are open. He does not care how many times you messed up. He loves you and will forgive you no matter what you've done. So don't get bogged down with the stresses of this world and the unavoidable changes we constantly face. Nothing is impossible with God. Did you hear me? Nothing is impossible with God. No exceptions. God is fully capable of handling your situations and nothing catches him by surprise. I'd like to remind you of three important points. One. Our choices can cause a change in someone else's life. Two, we must die to the sinful nature in order to live. And three, the ultimate choice caused the ultimate change. If you are walking with God, continue seeking his will for your life. Mm -hmm. If you have not made the decision of asking Jesus into your heart, I pray you will see just how much you need him. I encourage you to allow his story to affect your life and change everything. Woo!